Most beginners think you need to install a database on your computer just to learn or practice SQL. This used to be true, but it's overkill these days. And to prove that, I'm going to show you five free websites that you can use to practice SQL skills today. All right, let's start with one of the basics, w3schools.com. It was one of the first sites launched where you could actually try SQL in the browser. The layout is clean and it walks you through some SQL commands step by step with instant execution in their browser based editor. If you're just starting out, it has a pretty good mix of learning and doing. They're a great reference to see the common and not so common SQL commands and keywords with great explanation. It also has multiple choice quizzes if you're looking to just get a solid grasp. However, the premium features do come at a price. I dug into an AI interview feature and it ran out of tokens before I even got any feedback. They do seem to be developing a few new features right now, but I worry they'll all be paid. For now, it's a really good place to be introduced to SQL and learn some theory and structure. And check out some sample queries. All right, up next, LeetCode.com. And don't worry, it's not just for coders. Anyone can hop in and go. LeetCode's SQL section is packed with interview style questions that make you think critically and allow you to work through your problem by running the actual query before submitting. It also allows you to simulate MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, Pandas, and Postgres so you can hone in on the platform of your choice or try them all out. LeetCode is a pretty popular choice and it does have lots of different programming languages. The multiple languages is a bonus for someone who's really looking to explore many realms, but just know that it means that the focus on SQL on its own is a bit limited. The learning modules are really just not as good as W3 schools, so it's not the best place to learn SQL, but it's good for practicing your knowledge with interview style problems. And while it's not full beginner mode, it's a good place to dive in and try some queries and check your knowledge. Even doing one question a week can really boost your confidence. And while it does have some questions that can only be accessed through their premium program, the free content is great for casual practice. I have used this one quite a bit and I do find it to be a great resource with good questions. However, the query editor treats every run command as like a mini submission and it tells you that it's wrong. So if you're the type of person who, like me, runs their queries as they build them, it's a bit off-putting, but it's not a deal breaker. Now, let's talk about datalibre.com. It's made for data folks and the challenges are SQL oriented, but geared towards business thinking like analyzing sales, churn, or user activity. I stumbled on this website while browsing Reddit some time ago, and I had a quick chat with the creator, Nick. He's a super nice guy, and he contributes quite a lot to the community. I gave it a try, and I was instantly a fan. The layout is great, and the questions really make you think. They always have a deeper level of challenge than what you'd expect. So they can be sometimes a little bit tricky, but that's a good thing. They really make you think about the nuances of the data you're working with. Speaking of the data, it covers real life scenarios and realistic company data, such as Facebook, Amazon, Snapchat, Walmart, and a bunch of others. The questions are definitely true to what I've experienced in my 15 years of working with data. They also cover different aspects of data analysis like SQL, Python, statistics, and even machine learning. I do like that you get great feedback and hints, which makes it perfect if you're just not really sure where to start. I also like that Nick himself is sort of ingrained into the fabric of the website. Every problem feels like he's actually the one quizzing you and he walks you through hints and results. He also encourages you to share your results and tag him in your post, basically offering you his entire network for increased exposure. The free content available on the site is great and it looks like he's updating it very frequently. The paid content looks like it's also really cool and he offers paid one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if that's your thing. Overall, if I had to recommend a website of the three we just covered, it would definitely be this one. I like the vibes it has and the problems and data it uses are great. I'm hoping he'll expand the data sets more so that the amount of data you work with can be a bit more realistic, but so far, it's fantastic to work with. All right, I hope you're enjoying these sites so far and I have a few quick tips for you. First, always make sure you're signing into the website that you're working with so that you can save your progress and not have to revisit any questions. It's a really important part of progressing on your journey. Second, every single one of these last three and even the next two can be accessed from a PC, Mac, or even an iPad like I'm doing right now. Basically, all you need is an internet browser and you're good to go. And third, if you want to actually watch me take on some of the questions on each of these websites step by step, 
check out the video in my description. If you want more content just like this, just be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, okay? Let's change it up a bit and get you into some entry-level database platforms that are still accessed through websites. They're quick to set up, but they still provide the full experience. Up next, we have Azure SQL DB's free tier. Yes, you heard that right. Azure SQL Database is now free. Microsoft lets you spin up a cloud-hosted SQL Server with their free tier subscription, and it is the closest thing to working with a real production database. But without having to install SQL Server, Docker, or any other data platform on your PC. I've used this for all kinds of demos, especially when teaching you how to connect to Power BI in the cloud. So if you're serious about SQL for the job, this gets you hands on fast. And as a bonus, you can even set up sample databases like AdventureWorks with just one click. But I also have some scripts that you can run to create tables and add data quickly. They include data sets about Puerto Rico, NOAA weather stations, IMDB movie data, sim racing telemetry data, and even Call of Duty World Championship data for you gamers out there. All you have to do is sign up for an Azure account, activate the SQL Server, and you're up and running in minutes. The great thing is you can run queries right in your browser or use tools like SQL Server Management Studio, dBeaver for you Mac users, or Azure Data Studio to connect to it. There is a monthly compute cap, but they allow 10 databases per month and your cap resets at the end of the month. So you should be good to go. And once again, Azure SQL DB does allow you to connect externally so you can use it to connect to reporting tools like Power BI and Tableau if you want to take your data projects to that next level and make some awesome reports. If you want to jump in, I have a video on how to set it up and configure it step by step. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do and you can find it right up there or in the description below. And if you still want to use it to practice SQL problems, you're still good to go using AI to help you out. Just feed your favorite AI tool the fields and the tables and ask for some SQL questions for that industry. You can even customize it for beginner, intermediate, or advanced levels. All right, you ready for the last one? Now, it is last, but it's seriously underrated. This is Live SQL from Oracle. It's a 100% free Oracle database, and it's right in your browser. It takes seconds to jump in and start querying, and they already include more than five schemas, that's databases for you non-Oracle normies, with data such as retail customer orders, HR employee data, Olympics data, and academics data with lots of tables and records. It's great for practicing relationships between tables, data warehouse style. If this wasn't enough, Live SQL is actually just the exposed engine behind the Oracle Dev Gym, which is essentially an Oracle university style site with tons of modules, games, quizzes, and tests that you can use to either get started from zero or level up your skills. They also have a module called Quick SQL, where you can use shorthand SQL to create tables and even populate them with thousands of records of realistic data. And it's all free. Here's my video of me doing just that during a live stream. Now, I found myself playing their SQL Quizzle game on my phone whenever I'm waiting in line for a ride at Disney. It's more fun than I care to admit. Now, I know people, including myself, joke around a lot about how expensive Oracle is. But this is a seriously fantastic product, and I'm surprised it's free. Uh, don't get any ideas, Oracle. I've used this tool in a few videos already, and even used it to identify a new interview style where I reverse engineer databases and create ERDs that I've been exploring. If you want to see it in action, I do have a few videos on it. There's one right there, and you can check the rest out in the description. Did you already know of any? Which ones do you think you want to try first? Let me know in the comments below and check out a few videos I have of using Oracle Live SQL and Azure SQL DB that I've linked in the description. SQL is one of the most important tools in the world of data analysis, but it doesn't mean you have to install or configure anything just to get started. You only need curiosity and one of these websites. But if you wanna get started right now, check out this video where I walk you through some of the websites step-by-step. Step. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.